Hello, I want to show you something in RetroArch, namely the cheat system. If you see here, my cheats folder is empty. The cheats folder is normally in your RetroArch config folder, but it's wherever the location is specified in your settings. So I can click settings and go all the way down to directory. It's usually the last thing on the bottom. Okay, just go down to cheats and check where your folder is. And then all you have to do is go here to the main menu, go to Online Updater, Update Cheats. Now you will notice a very big difference of speed when you do this on an Android device. Primarily because the amount of files in the cheats. Almost 24,000 files. Okay, we're going to try Macross Scrambled Valkyrie. I'm using scan lines to be old school. I'm just going to go to cheats, load cheat file, replace. It took us long to get through this. Jeez. Right there. Chujiku Yusai Macross Scrambled Valkyrie, the Japanese name. Okay. These are all the cheats that just got loaded. I'm going to go ahead and be lame and do invincibility. And then keep weapon level after getting hit also now both those cheats say on as you can see I'm gonna go up here to apply changes and click this a couple of times okay am I recording all right great okay we're gonna go down here to setup I usually change those and then change this over to stereo. And I'm gonna pick Max. We sat a new machine for the fighting. Now the time to scramble Valkyrie again. I'm just reading that word for word. Okay, so probably want to move above that. That's a ship teleporting in. You can take allies in this, that's what's up with that energy field if you stop firing. That weird energy field you see. What the hell? Okay, so let's say you just decided to delete all the cheats, get rid of them, you tried them out, but you're okay without them. 
click delete all cheats and click apply after toggle no I'm sorry not apply after toggle click apply changes now you're gonna click close click run again go back into the cheats menu and all the cheats are there they haven't disappeared because this is one little feature or kind kind of a quirk of RetroArch but it's kind of a feature so that when you load a game you don't actually have to load your cheats every time you load the game it just seems like when you apply a cheat it makes a specialized file that automatically loads these every time you start but if I click delete all cheats and I click apply changes I click close content and then run go back into the menu all my all these cheats should be gone but they're not gone so this is the workaround I'm going to show you right now what you want to do is go into your RetroArch config folder you want to go into your cheats folder now I was using the emulator SNES 9x so it made a folder for that and it made a file for that game so if I don't want the cheats to be there anymore I have to delete this file I haven't really found a workaround for this yet but now if I go back in here into RetroArch just to prove it to you no more cheats so this is the workaround that was the main point of this whole video so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one